I'm level 20. I'm finally level 20. Oh yeah, let's go. Want to play a game? So yeah, level 20. I am level 20. Uh, and I know it's been a month since I posted a Vault Hunters video. I got, I got ill again, and then it was Christmas, and then I was busy on Rocket Craft, and it had to take a bit of a back burner. But I've been playing it in bits, as you can see, which is how I got to level 20. Um, and, well, let's quickly summarise that for you now. Off we go. Right, so what has changed since then? I think my gear is is relatively, well, uh, maybe not, maybe not. Uh, I got the new tools, got some new gear. So this is my gear that I'm wearing right now, and got some more pouches. I set up the artifact tomb, or tome, and I've got one, so we've got that in. I think that looks cool. We got the three in a row like that. I think it does look smart. I was planning to maybe use Britannia and put the Britannia portal there, but I think that looks that looks good anyway. I don't think anything's changed much up here. Oh yeah, waypoints have because in here. It's just going to take me straight to a load of blazes. A load of blazes. They're in there. Blazes them and there. Uh, and with the skeletons and stuff. You know, the usual stuff. Uh, and this one get me back home. So, yeah, got those set up. Um, not sure this has changed much apart from. Oh, yeah, we've, we've got Botany Park to unlock now. Uh, so we've got some of these things going on the go. We want more of these, of course, but we'll probably just switch these around as and when we need them. Um, let's go downstairs. Let's go downstairs and see. Yeah, so I can't remember if we had this on it last time, but I got refined storage with the crafting grid and a second one with just a normal grid. Now, this one's just jewels, and this is everything else, basically. Uh, this was all chests before, wasn't it? But obviously now, because I've got this, uh, all those chests have been able to go. Uh, set it up so that when we uh, shard anything, it's going to go straight into the draw system. And that one still goes in there. What else? Have we got anything new here? I can't remember. I've got some new stuff. Things. Maybe new. I don't know. But you'll probably know what they are anyway from previous ones. So, uh, How did I get all this? Well, there's this wicked mechanic, right? Called the Plunderer's Pearl. And what I did was I got to level 20. And then I started making these plunderous pearls, which are really, really simple to make. But what they do is you put them on a vault crystal and then you don't get any experience. So I wanted to make sure I didn't get past level 20 for before I did my next video. But you get loads of extra loot and loads of extra ores. So over Christmas, when I've not been recording, uh, I was just doing some of this and I got so much stuff. I mean, bearing in mind everything that I've made, I've got power as well, obviously. And power is running down here. I've got it just in cables. In fact, I've got a few things. So that's just a, a basic solar panel, which is going all the way up to the sky there, uh, through a bit of glass. And then, can I get down here? I'm sure I can. Yeah, there we go. And then I've got this energy cell, a basic energy cell, which basically, once it goes dark and the solar panel doesn't start working, this then starts being used to power everything else. So it, it, it's all right, it's fine. It's not the like most powerful system you can get, not even close. But it will mean it will mean that for our current needs, we've got enough power to keep everything going. So yeah, it's really really cool. Um, what else did we get? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's have a look on the researches. Oh yeah, got the stacking upgrade, which I've got more pouches, but I haven't got the actual pouches. And yeah, waystones, vault compass, elevators. I think we already had those already. Uh, modular routers we'd got previously. So yeah, that's about it really. Um, but yeah, loads really for level twenty. But it's all because of that plunderous pearl. If you if you want to spend time, not getting XP, but doing up all your stuff, plunderous pearls are definitely the way to go. And even after all that, I've still got plenty of well, most things. Like, what am I short of, if anything? 
Mm, I moved some of this around as well, so I've got all my gems together now. But yeah, I've got quite a lot of stuff. Quite a lot of stuff. I mean, I've still got the ability to make, what, three pogs if I needed one? Yeah. So yeah, plunderer's pearls are definitely the way to go. Anyway, enough of me waffling. We've got a crystal already to go. So let's have that. Come on. Ding. Right, there's our crystal. Where did you go? Uh, you've gone into one of my backpacks. So one of my backpacks isn't set up properly with the exclusion list. You need to get out. Let's turn the magnet off. Get rid of that. Right, I need to find out which one it is. All right, that's sorted. And we've got two bounties on the go. So we've got Find 34 Knowledge, which is going to get us some uh, excellent stuff, hopefully. And then Kill Dweller Mob. So should be pretty simple. I mean, you say that, but then it doesn't always happen. So yeah, uh, skills. What did we take on skills? Just as a reminder. Oh, yes, yeah, so we've got Bounty Hunter up to full. We've got one level in Fortunate. Full Strength, one Speed. Uh, which I think is what we're going to save up for next. The next set of speed. Couple of haste. Stonefall. Javelin. Heal. Dash. And Vein Miner. And yeah, that's our lot. So I, let's get in. Let's get in. Let's get in. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. I forgot how to do it then. Man. Right. We're in. We've got Kiwis. we got everything. I think we're good to go. Yeah. Let's do it. Enlightened. What's an enlightened vault? Whoops. Oh, extra experience. We're going to get loads of XP on this one, hopefully. Anyway, we're going west. We've got a scav vault. So let's switch our pouches over. Yeah. Okay. Right. So, ores, wooden chests, and mobs that give black mob essence. Right. Let's do it. I like this vault theme as well. It looks very cool. Uh, right. Right, 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 right. Let's get down there. So we need one chest for the books. The ribcage is going to be a pain in the backside, but we'll probably get everything but. Oh! I'm going to be a little bit rusty at this, you know. Because I've been playing Bedrock so much. It's so weird when I come back to playing Java or anything. Especially modded. Where's all the chests, man? Oh, there's a more down. There's a further down. Oh, no, not you. If I had a good magnet, this wouldn't be so bad. It's just... Oh, my word. Get out of the way. I was hoping I could just ninja them and go. Do you know what I probably could have done if I was actually holding the vein miner key? What an idiot. Told you, Rusty. Rusty, Rusty, Rusty. That's just going to take me back that way. Alrighty. How many chests are you? What's going on? Okay. Uh, uh, uh. What about up here then? I'm not the thing I'm going to go all the way up. I'll tell you what I haven't done though. Oh no! Dash some cooldown. Uh, I haven't marked the room properly for my starter room because we know what I'm like. If I don't do it, I get lost. There you go. Some weird pipe. Right. Hopefully that's all the derps out of the way. Ooh. Let's get on with it now. Let's do this. Oh, what we got? What we got? What we got? Oh, we don't need coins, but oh, there's always so much good stuff. We don't need coins for the scab, really, but we do need them in general. Everyone needs coins, so... Plus, you, fellas. Come on, get down. Let's just get get some of it. Let's see how we go. Oh, hello. Champion spider. No, no, no. Oh, I used one button. Two champion spiders. Um, this is going to be a problem. Oh, no. Let me dash. Oh, I'm stuck. What? That's what happens when you're rusty. And greedy. 
Rusty and greedy. Ah, oh, I was defeated. <gasps> Forgot I'm level 20 as well. And I've got the wrong skin on. Got my decked out skin on. Do we even have Spirit Extractor? I'm not sure, you know. Do we have one? I don't think I do. Right, we need to make one then, don't we? Spirit Extractor. We not got. I could have swore we made one. Let's just check again. In the bedroom. Not in the bedroom. Um. Come on, you. Hmm. Apparently, I didn't make one. Uh oh. Hopefully, not too difficult to make. I cannot believe I just did that. Right, it is called Spirit Extractor, isn't it? I think. Yeah, that one. Oh no. This is going to be an interesting one. Can we make it? We can make an Eye of Ender. There's one. Black Chromatic Steel. Can we make two of them? One, two. Oh, we can. I don't know what I was worried about. Easy peasy. I think we have to take it up as well. Uh, let me up. Because I don't think. Yeah, look, the ghost doesn't like itself being there. Uh, we'll just we'll just plunk it here for now. Come here. How much? How much? Uh, cost of recovering items: zero percent vault goal of twenty. I don't understand what it wants. So let's go get a load of gold. I don't understand that. That is weird. Uh, gold. Just take it all. See what happens. Because we definitely want our stuff back. Because I don't even think we've got backups at the moment. I forgot our level 20. Oh, that's what's going to happen. Oh, it's 20, right? So that's what it is. Of 20. Get ya. Well, at least we've got our stuff. Right, let me get another crystal made up. Oh, my word. Right, we sorted. I had gunpowder on there, and I haven't got a mob farm or anything, so I had to just go out and kill a load of creepers, and it, it took quite a while. Uh, but anyway, so that's definitely something I need to sort out soon enough. But we've got the crystal going, and um, we're not going to die this time. We're not. We're going we're gonna to do well. What do we got? It's Elixir. And we've got... Portal is East. Hang on, what's Horde Vault? Oh, nice. You're getting all the good modifiers. Right, Elixir. So just... Elixir's great. It's basically just... Do everything. <laughs> just... Do the best you can with absolutely everything. There we go. That's a... That's a very obvious... Uh, an obvious marker. Right, let's get down. Let's get down. Let's get down. So, I'll be honest, one of the reasons that I was playing it off-camera was because I died so many times. Uh, I started to feel like maybe playing on hard was just a little bit too much for me, and it might still be, but I had lots of, uh, I had lots of success while I wasn't recording. So I'm hoping that it was just a case of getting used to the difficulty. Um, but yeah, I thought maybe I'd lost my mojo a little bit, because it was a while since I played Vault Hunters, but I think we'll be okay. I mean, like I said, I can always turn the difficulty down. I say this all the time when I talk about it with people who say, oh, it's too hard. Um, turn the difficulty down. Like, who cares? It's, it's you who's playing. You've got to enjoy it. It doesn't matter that, like, Iskel plays it on hard and it's pretty easy. And obviously the Hermit's playing it now and lots of them are playing it. And it's it looks quite easy. Although I think they're playing it on normal anyway. Um, so, yeah. Oh, it's a champion. Which means gear. That's a good point, actually. I did not get gear from any of the champions before. Well, you're throwing bricks at me, but it's not my fault. Look, man. I've got to get used to the mobs again. That's better. Yeah, I think it's one of those things as well. Like, if you don't play it as much... Like, I don't play it as much, because a lot of my time is going into Rocket Craft at the minute. Especially with the giant hole that I'm digging. Um, you definitely, definitely, definitely should just turn the difficulty down. So yeah, we may end up doing that anyway, and I need to just stop worrying about it so much. Because then I can enjoy the game more. But I want to leave it on hard for now, because I like the challenge. I do like the challenge. Right, well, we, do you know what? We're at a third of the bar filled already, so... 
these, not these, these make this theme a bit of a pain in the backside. I like the look of it. I just, oh, the dripstone. Gets in your way whenever you try and do anything. <laughs> right, right, right. Come on, come on. Bob. Let's do this. Come on. Music's got faster. It's upbeat. It's time to rock and roll. Oh, probably to, to get murdered immediately. Where's all the mobs? Hello. Ah, oh, there you are. There's only one. Or is it just stuck on top? Oh, nope, you're there. Oh, we got ghosts. There's a peak. They hit hard as well. Just when you don't see them come in, they just absolutely nail you. Good amount of gems. Have I still got my scav pouch on? I have. Put you on there then. Don't know what just made me think about that, but yeah. Yep. Get stone balled. Right, where are the rest of you? I don't want to get battered while I'm mining again. There's so many little sticky bits. Are you in here? Goodbye. Oh, we should be good to go. Oh, I do love the instant mine, especially on yours. It's so cool. It's so good. Oh. Not missed anything of that. Oh, yeah. Lorimar right in front of your face. Face full of Lorimar. The other thing that I was thinking of doing as well, uh, let me know if you guys think this is a bad idea, is like anything up to probably level 30, 35, we've done before together. So I could just play this in between other things, get to 35, 40. Um, I mean, still do episodes anyway, still do some recording, but just play it anyway in between. Catch up on what I've been doing. And then we'll get to like the newer stuff. Or maybe like when we unlock some of the bigger mods. I'm sure by now, like, Vault Hunters has been going for so long, I'm sure you guys have seen many people play it and do all of the things that we're doing. And I know from my, my old single player world um, that I ended up playing offline, my first ever Sky Vaults world, on that I got to level 70 something. I've not played it for a while. Um, but the game really started to kick in at level 50. It was almost like it was not tutorial, but just getting you ready for everything that you could possibly do. And level 50 kicks in, it's like the game starts, big time. So I may do some of that, just playing it more. Because obviously this isn't my full-time job. My full-time job is uh, very busy. <laughs> very, very busy. And uh, I start a new job in March as well, which is great, but it also means I'm going back to full-time. So at the minute I work four days, I'm going back to five days. Uh, I've been lucky enough to be able to do that for quite a while. But yeah, going back to five days. So I don't know if it's going to... It's weird. Like, working four days at the minute, you think, well, you must have loads of extra time. But I actually don't. I end up working probably the same amount of hours as if I was working full time. So it depends how demanding the new job is. Whether I'm just working my, my standard hours or whatever else on top. But yeah, so it might change some of the way I do content. And I'll probably have to prioritise some of it. Uh, Rocket Graft especially, because I love playing on Rocket Craft. Rocket Craft, not Rocket Craft. Love playing on Rocket Craft, and uh, there's also the element that there's lots of other people on there as well, so you don't want to just be not playing. Um, oh, nice. Shield times two. Poisoned. Come on, give me all the things. Yeah. Right, and I'm 100% going to be playing decked out until I finish it. I say finish it with the, the conditions that I've set myself. That is definitely something I'm going to be playing. So I've waited so long to play that film. And not only that, because I'm building a game influenced by that and this, uh, the best way, I mean, I've played this lots, but the best way to understand how that game works is to play it, right? So. Come on, zombies. 
keep using the wrong one. Keybinds. I need to start using like similar keybinds, especially for the um, just for the hotbar across all the versions of Minecraft that I play. I play different versions, and then I don't know why I end up changing the order of things that are on my bar, uh, and it's not helpful. Right, more chests. There we are. So yeah, we just need to find a love story. We've got ages though, we've got 17 minutes, so this could be uh, a heavy loot run. Assuming we don't forget. I'd say we. Assuming I don't forget where the uh, where a love story is. Oh, I haven't seen one yet. Get out of my way. Erp. Right. Ow. Oh. The one that I didn't do. Yeah. Oh, it's candles. It was some candles. Right, let's get out of here. Next room. You know, unless I do something stupid, which is entirely possible, this is going to be a win. It's going to be a win. Probably curse myself now. Let's see if we can find some really, really good rooms, like a uh, blacksmith would be fantastic, wouldn't it? What's that? Red up there. I think it's a banner or something. Um, some more coins. Thank you very much. Any more coins? Yeah. Coinies, coinies, coinies. Oh, there is my favourite chest of all. The living chests. I love anything that lets me unlock mods. It's a uh, hundred percent. The best thing, I mean, I, I love the vaults. The vaults are my favourite thing to actually do, but outside the vaults, blaming the mods. You, know, you can build a base and everything else, but I think, for me, it's like, build it around the mods. I spend my time building bases on other things, on other, like, Minecraft versions all the time, so... Boom! That's why I did a little bit of cheating in this one, I just basically dug into a mountain. It took a while, to be fair, but dug into a mountain and then... Uh, Set myself up inside there. So we get fun stuff. I'm still a bit unsure though as to whether I prefer Sky Vault or um, or Overworld. Right now, I'd probably say I prefer Sky Vault, but I don't know if that's just because I played it more. But it does feel like a different game. 100%. You have to work a lot harder to get in the vaults on um, on this one. And feel that the if to work harder to do some of the more manual stuff so like the mob farm I'm going to have to do I can't just have it so that it's going to always be loaded in underneath my island it's going to have to be in the sky somewhere miles away and that, you know that's part of the mob thing as well you get weird in gadgets and then that'll, that'll chunk load for you but it becomes expensive because obviously every time you take a mod all the others get expensive in that packet so and then weird in gadgets all of a sudden doesn't feel like it's worth it so yeah it's a weird balance a weird balance but I don't know am I saying Sky Vault is better because it's easier maybe what hit me am I safe now yes whoa is that it? Just two. oh no one above my head it's got the bug uh oh. <laughs> Imagine that. You have drowned. Still not seen a lodestone. 13 minutes over, plenty of time. What's up there? It's not a lodestone. I know as well it's quicker to loot the wooden chest than it is to use this because I've got loads of uh, mining speed, but I just like it. <laughs> I just like doing it. Have we been down already? We have. That's where the living chests were. Um, right, let's hop on to the next one. Let's go down first. I always like to go downstairs and then sometimes upstairs. Quite often I skip upstairs that I shouldn't do. I always talk about the one thing that I do say on Vault Hunters for everybody, regardless of the difficulty you play on, is just working out your quickest way to loot. 
that's something that I'm still working on. There's a champion in there. Get crit. Get crit. Oh, Volt Sword. Nice. Oh. Leggings. Oh, we could we can get grappily decked out on this one. Pardon the pun. More livings. I also need to find a dungeon. That's the next quest that I'm on. Find a dungeon. I don't think I complete it. I think I just have to literally open the door. Go away from me, baby. Oh, getting stuck on any sort of corner in this game is... Uh, you're asking for trouble. You be broke. No more? Is that it? Two? And a wooden. A wooden that was full of poison. Away. Oh, it's a big guy. These are the burpers. The Burpee McBurpersons. Moving over here, we sure have. Let's get back up. Oh, let's go up top. That was a terrible dash. Right, where's up? There it is. Oh, I'm stuck on the dripstone. <laughs> I think it's possibly just that I'm an idiot rather than anything else, but. Here he is again. Mr. Burp. Listen to him, Burp. And whenever they burp, they get the health back. Right. Come on. Thank you. Is that it for upstairs? No, it can't be it for upstairs. It's obviously just a weird room. Let the stone fall a bit early. Would have knocked him off if I'd done it. Did it at the right time. Oh, uh oh. You. Some healing on the go. Some more up there. Here it is. Uh, bop, bop. The other thing that I've, I've not mentioned it, I, I need to mention it more. I sort of it's it's in the description, but I don't mention it. I, I created a Discord because a few people had asked me like, do you have a Discord? You can chat away and stuff. And I didn't have one, especially being like a relatively small YouTuber. Uh, but I made one, so there's a link in the description of the video. If you want to come and have a chat, tell me, uh, give me some hints and tips or some advice or some of the things that I, you know, can help with like mods and stuff like that. Or just just a general, general chinwag. I love having a chat. By all means, come and join us on Discord. It's completely free. Um, and yeah, it's, there's a few people on there already. It's not many, it's, it's quite small. But it'd be great to make like a nice little community on there where we can just chat about the different games we play and general life um, and yeah like I say if you I don't know how to ask for these things I'm rubbish at asking for these things it's like subs and likes I always feel dead awkward um, but yeah same for this guy but if you want to if you want to come over and chat more than welcome so the links in the in the description It'd be great to have a chat to some of you because I know like I see on the YouTube analytics there's quite a few people who do come back not everyone comments and that's fine I, I to be honest you know it's one of those things that the whole YouTube algorithm thing that I don't properly subscribe to to some extent, but well, I just do what I like to do and if people like it, great. But I know comments are like a big thing for engagement so that you get passed on to everybody else. And not everybody comments, and I get that because actually, do you know what? I don't comment on many of the videos I watch because I just almost queue them up and just watch and then that's about it really. Um, but yeah, so if you... Oh, hang on. I'm waffling again, because this is how I, how I roll, right? I'm a waffler. Um, oh, hang on. Hey. Oh, that's a bounty dump. That's a bounty. How many of the other things do we need? It's only ten. Ten knowledge. And this is the end of a route. The end of a route. Still got eight minutes, though. So, yeah, cutting to the chase with my long waffle. If you'd like to... There's a link to my Discord, which I think I've half said a few times now. There's a link to my Discord in the description of the video, and you're more than welcome to come and join and have a chat. I'm on Discord most of the time, 
whether it's on my phone or uh, actually on my computer. Because I do work from home as well, so um, you know when I'm on my lunch and on breaks and stuff, I'm fairly shy. Right, I think we're going to clear this room and then we're going to skedaddle. I know we could go more, because there's plenty of time, but I think I want to succeed. I want to win! And we've got a guaranteed win. Aha, we've got the bounties done as well. So yeah, it's going to be a, an incredibly good vault. Assuming I don't die now to Mr. Burpee. We've got loads of good stuff in the uh, in the bags as well. So, I haven't made an unloader yet. That's something I definitely need to make. Like a something that will work out where things are and put them into the right place. I don't know if you remember I had it on my previous Sky Vaults world where I put a couple of things down and it sort of worked out if it's in the scav pouch. Send it to there. Did that with modular routers. We we'll do that again. Maybe make it turn one of my bags into just a gear bag. Uh, so then any armor stays out and we get to roll that separately. It's a burp -bur again. Burp -bur, burp -bur, burp -bur. And we should be able to get mod boxes now as well from level 20, so hopefully we get some of those. Unlock some cool things in our mods. That is the wrong pickaxe. Come on. Ooh. This is always satisfying though. Bomb. Three chests together. Love it. Uh, we cleared here. We have right. I think that's it. I think that's us. Let's find that lodestone. I think it was just on the room above. Ugh, can't even walk up the thing. Here we go. Yeah, vault complete. So there we go. We got a win. We got a win. <laughs> Okay, so we did. Whoa, we got 42,866 XP. 125 mobs are alive. 113 chests looted. That's good. You know, 100. I think I did okay, actually. And 42. Oars mined. Awesome. Oh, I'm in, I'm in F5R. Hey, hey. Uh, on top of that, we got double bounties to claim. Which is amazing. Find two empty jar in the vault. I may as well because I've got no other one to do. Half an hour until the next one. Ooh. Right. I will go and unload. Uh oh. <laughs> I just I camouflage it as a cupcake. That was not what I wanted to do. I didn't know it was gonna do that. <laughs> right, there we go. Let me get down my elevator. Ah! Honestly. Honestly. Right, I'm going to unload my stuff. We're level 22. Oh, oh, two more skill points. It means, but you know what? Before I even procrastinate over it, we're, we're taking the extra level in speed. Right, I'm going to unload my stuff, which I've said a few times, but I'm going to do it now, and then we'll look at all the cool extra bits that we've got that we can look at, like gear and whatnot. All right, so we've already got a nice chunk of stuff left over for us to look at. We did get a mod box, which is cool, and uh, relic boosters and some battery posts to go upstairs, and we've got our elixir crate. So let's see. Ooh. Oh, there's lots of shinies. And, oh, lots of jewels. Lots of cool jewels. So we'll chuck those in there. Oh, that was a moat. That's not a jewel. Another mod box. Another seal. Eternal soul. Some more gold. Yeah, we did all right there. We did all right. So I'll tell you what, let's, um, let's put you in there. Let's open these up. So let's go for the relic booster packs first. Are we going to get one? I think not. No, not one. Right, let's see what we get from the mod box. Oh, that's a disk drive. That is decent. And what are you? What are you? A stack upgrade. That is cool. So a disk drive and a stack upgrade. Uh, and a stack upgrade. So how do I use the stack upgrades? I don't know. I'll have to have a look at that and see how they work. So you can go in there for now. And then we got loads of gear. Loads and loads of gear. So let's do that. Oh, wow. Okay. 
Uh, let's just go up. Let's go and put these away. And then we can have a look at all this gear. Where is it? Where's my... Let me up. Thank you. <laughs> so, yeah, let's chuck that in there. And so this is my actual gear. Let's move you guys up there. I don't know why I do this. You don't need to do it this way. I just... Weird thing that I do. Right. My actual sword is 12 attack power, 20%. Never, never, da, da, da. Arthropod's damage is no good. No good. Let's see what the best of all these are. Right, weapons. We're just not going to use an axe. It's just that simple. We're not going to use the one, but I might, I'm might. i going to keep them. I've been keeping all the, like, the unique designs of them. I think they look wicked. Uh, so an axe can go. That's got no chance. You and you. Let's get these sorted. All right. Magnet. That is a winner straight away. So, yeah. Happy with that. You're a, you're a keeper. Level 27 armor. It's only really power. Armor. Maybe. That's a maybe. The shield. Oh, look at that soul chance. Very nice. We're going to lose some health. Uh, we're going to lose quite a bit of block chance, actually. Yeah, we may look at that, though. We may look at it. It's a, it's definitely one to look at. That one is... Yeah, that one's a look at as well. Leggings! Yeah, so depending on what I can get on that, that could also be could also be an upgrade, yeah. Although... Ooh, baby, yeah, that's definitely an upgrade. Oh, we're doing all right here. Yeah. Chest. It's not going to be, is it? I can tell already. No. Boots. A couple of legendaries. Hey, we've done well. They are also an upgrade. So, yeah, I've got plenty of stuff to look at. And the weapons, they're all pretty good, you know. They're all pretty good. Be interesting to see what I can uh, roll them to be. So, I'm going to do some rolling. Some rolling. Uh, and then we'll see what we end up with. Well, I went for some lunch, which means I've now got the two bounties again. And go, where are we? We've got. Complete any vault and get 33 knowledge essence, which you should be able to do. Um, settled on some of the gear, so the shield, not the legendary shield, because it didn't have any block chance on it, and I didn't really want to lose the legendary thing, so I think I'm going to keep those. Maybe, anyway, we'll see. But these boots were amazing as they were, so I've just been enchanted them up. Got the extra five health on these, so tons and tons of health. Uh, the weapon, I just couldn't make it better than this one, especially with the chain and stuff. So, yeah, uh, I've ended up keeping that one, but we'll see what we get. So yeah, here we go. Vault number three. And check the lot market again. Should we buy that? I was thinking about getting that. I've never, ever, ever done a cake vault. But I think we could just bake one at some point, couldn't we? So let's um let's leave it. Let's leave it. Let's get in there. Alrighty, so let's start some tunes. It's called Curb Kicker. Sign up for Epidemic Sound. Um, because pretzels like just died <laughs> on its uh, on its Windows app, so yeah, epidemic sound is what I'm now using. Uh, chest cannot be trapped. Excellent, and I like it. It's got lots of uh, lots of really cool music on it. I do really like using the stream beat stuff as well. But I just think Spotify is such a pain in the backside with the stream deck plus. I probably need if they had a proper mixer, <clears throat> then maybe I'd just go back to using Spotify stuff. But. Um, as it is, I pay a little bit for that. Right, Elixir. So, do everything again. I like Elixir bolts. They are good. Whoop, hello. Where did you come from? Must have, uh, must have brought you in. As we're coming down the stairs. Ah, oh, it reminds me of, on the second Sky Vault world, the crab. A crab friend that fell to his death. Uh, magnet on. That's why that was a problem. Oh, it's drowned. No trident, so I don't think so. We're okay. Why are you so stupid? I mean, I'm not complaining because you're not doing anything to me, but it's very weird. Uh, right. Oh, that elixir. So easy at level 20 in general. What are you? One generation, why not? What we got in the middle? We've got some coins. Who doesn't like coins? Especially at Christmas time. 
But I think they should have done that on Bolt Hunters. It should have given you increased quantity and rarity just all over Christmas. That's my suggestion for next year. Not that any of the developers will probably be watching uh, what I'm saying, but my suggestion for next year is Christmas present. Rarity and quantity, please. <laughs> Let's go to the next room. We still need to find a dungeon for the quest. Keep an eye out for dungeon doors. Come on, quick look round. Stay away from the cactus, they are my enemy. Oh, can't see one there. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go up this time. Bye, fellas. I'm going to go against what I normally do. Go upsies. Hey, hey! What? Hey? Oh, you from up there. It's just not worth it. Um. Uh-oh! Me and the cactus. Ever since playing this with my wife, cactus has probably become my number one enemy. It was after taking the mickey out of her for uh, getting a bit of a whooping up a cactus. And now karma has well and truly got me. Are you dancing around? What's we got here? Have you ever noticed before? I don't think the vault dollars are like cup fan. I don't know if it's intentional, but they do look like cup fan. I think so anyway. I'm not, have I not got any back? What? Why have I not got. Oh, I haven't brought my bags in with me. Can you believe that? Oh, I left them on the side. Yeah. Uh, might be able to do something. Oh, what a fool. Right, give me, let me just drop anything. I need wood. Can that not work? Okay. Get out then. You'll turn into planks. You with one of those, one of those. Yeah, whatever. Give me that. Put you down a minute. <laughs> Don't forget to pick that back up. That was my potion. Where are you? There you are. Right, and then we go chest. Whatever. Throw that. Throw that. Throw that. And then I go. Is it this? I think it's this, isn't it? Oh, 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 oh. No, how do I make one? Uh, Shulker. Oh, it's just two. That's fine. E right. I can, in theory, then make another one. Ah, <sighs> what a fool. You can't train these kind of skills, you know. You, can't, you just can't train them. Oops, no. Chest. One of you, one of you. Uh, no, one of you. Yes. Right. At least we've got some storage. I can't believe I did that. Gah! Never mind. It's not the end of the world. Right. We're clear again anyway. something in there, sure have. A jewel. Come on. Talking of Mictors, actually I bought uh, a new one, I say a new one, used one over Christmas on eBay. Uh, a GoXLR Mini, which I know like, a bit all over the place at the minute with what's going on, but for the price it was like 60 quid, 60 pounds, I don't know why it's in dollars, like 75 dollars maybe. Used one, I thought, ah, you know, for that price, I'll take a chance. And I turned up, <laughs> and turned up, and then I found, I found out from Royal Mail that the person's not put the address on properly. I messaged the person, 
And they were like, well, that's your problem if you put the wrong address. I'm like, no, 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 you don't understand. You've put the wrong address. My address is on eBay and, you know, no other problems with anything else. And they're like, well, they can't return it to you because Royal Mail basically said they're returning it to the sender because they can't work out where he wants to send it. And he's like, well, I didn't put the return address on it and I haven't given them my details, so they can't. I'm like, what? why? Why would you do that? And then he's refusing now to refund me. So I've got to go through an eBay case for it all, so... I don't know. I used to love using eBay, but just been for a while now. It just seems to be very difficult to just get an honest person. It wouldn't surprise me if it ends up, I end up like finding something, turns up to the house, and it'll be like some random, I don't know, like a brick in a box or something. It's got that feel to it. Unbelievable. But I mean, at the minute, I've got a little uh, Fi Fine mix. It's, it's good, actually. It, it, the only problem I had with it was because I really wanted to get my guitar into a PC as well. For those of you who don't know, I do play guitar. Um, but the problem with it was was that you couldn't separate. You can't separate the outputs, so you can't have, say, if you've got effects on your mic, they're going to go onto the other input as well. Like any other input, they're just going to go in. So if I was ever going to play guitar on stream or do a video for it, everything would be open and live. And it, it it's only a few button presses, so you know, it's not the end of the world. Because what I've then done anyway, I've, I've got it sorted. Because I had a little USB, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like a like a little effects pedal. I think it's got a cube baby. About ages and ages ago, I've sort of like linked that up separately, but then wired it back in. It's a bit of a weird bit of spaghetti, but it does work. I suppose I don't really need one, but I just thought it'd be so much easier. But yeah, eBay. I'm sure there's lots of nice people on eBay. I mean, I've got 100% positive feedback on eBay, and this guy's trying to suggest, like, the, the, the loose suggestion from the guy now is that I've done something wrong. It's like, well, I can't do anything wrong, because it's, it's yours, right? Ah, oh, you shift and right click it, do you? Aha, right, there we go. Um, it's like, I can't do anything wrong. It's not even been to my house. This is the post office saying, we don't actually know where you want to send it us because you've done something wrong. I don't know. Waffling about eBay, but you know, pain in the backside. Although, to be, said, to be fair, on the flip side of that, much bigger purchase. We had a, we needed a car because our, our old car died. Uh, I think it was last March, I think it was. Uh, bought that off eBay and I actually bought it from Dan South. And we're like, we're way up north. And I didn't even see it. The guy like did a video around it, what, did a walk around and it's probably been the best car I've ever bought actually. So there you go, there's the flip side of it. I'm complaining because it's happened now, but there are plenty of times when I'm pretty certain you can get good deals from it. Yeah, that was wicked when I bought the car. Like, you know, turned up, delivered it for us. Um, it was a garage, to be fair, but, you know, delivered it. Let us have a last look around it. There was nothing dodgy about it. It was really, really wicked. Oh, is that a trinket? I think it is, isn't it? Are we full already though? I think we might be. We are full. 14 minutes. Well, I'll tell you what, let's see if we can find a dungeon. Because we've got our. Um... We've got our compass set to that lodestone. So we shouldn't have any problems there. Let's see if we can find a dungeon or any like mega rooms. Still gonna mark. I know a compass is gonna take me there, but all right. So we're looking for a dungeon door. It's not really any point looting because I can't even put it in. <gasps> There's a dungeon door. Right. Excellent. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to complete a dungeon because I've seen some people. I've never done one. They're a relatively new thing that's been added in. Um, 
Let's see what he says. If it's, if it's not. So it's a piglin door. Normal. Do we do it? This is my face. I, I, do you know what I tried to do when I was contract? It didn't work. Let's have a go. Make sure we're full health. We've got everything sorted. Right, come on. Hello, fellas. Ah, you are responsible for one of my first serious deaths on Rocket Graph. Oh my god. Well, we're down. I assume that's not all of them, though. So there's a down there. And left it in another door. Oh. It's a baby, big one! Oh man, they hit hard. Let's go. Got to dance them around. Oh no, he's looking in a corner. No, I missed. Oh, baby piglin! <laughs> Still complete the quest though. Oh, I'm going to buy my gear back again. Oh, oh man. Let's go get some gold. Oh. We're not having much luck, are we? We're not having much luck. That was tricky, that though. Um. Where's the body? Uh oh, where's my body? Hmm. Have I actually just lost it? What? I don't understand. Why can't I? Come on, where's my ghost? Hmm. Okay. We may have lost everything. Ah, I've got spares, but that is so annoying. I think that's probably it. That's probably it for me. Oh, man. Well, we completed one of the vaults. And we did do... Oh, we did the quest. Let's complete that. Gave us a pog. Nice. I played Plunder's Plus of Vulcan. So, yeah, and I've been doing that loads, so that'll be, that'll be easy to do. Uh, right, well, let me know what you think. Should I get myself to a level, like level 50 or something, so we're getting all the, the cool stuff that happens at the end game? Uh, just do that as quick as I can. Or do you want to see me get to level 50? I don't mind either way. Um, it'll, just be, it'll be faster if we get to 50 if I'm not recording. And then we can record all the way up to 100. Otherwise, um, yeah, we'll, we'll just take it week by week. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Ah, oh, so many unsuccessful vaults. I can't believe it. Look, there's my pouches. What a nightmare. Yeah, no ghost. No ghost. It's not some weird bonfire, is it? Defeated. Open vault starts. There was no. No, there was nothing. Just, yeah, Looter's Dream. Chest cannot be trapped. Hmm. Oh well. Right. Have a good one, everyone. Have you have a great new year? See you in 2024. Goodbye.